AT phone home. <laughs> See? This is why you carry a flashlight. The lights are out. Alright. It's the iPhone light. And as you can see, it's barely lighting up the area. Oh, how about a flashlight? Oh yeah. Flashlight for the win. Whoa. Okay, let's do some beam shot comparison. I have my Jaxman. I forget which one. <laughs> Jaxman Aspheric right here. Can you see it? No, you can't. Jaxman Aspheric versus a MSR D4S. So here we go. So this uh, Jaxman is a... Okay, yeah, that's full power. It's an XHP 50.2 cool white. Uh, lead emitter with the uh, aspheric. So this is it in full flood. It's a, just a very even light. But as you can see, it's not lighting the valley as much. It can't quite reach there. Or at least it lights up the tree more, which makes it harder to see. Okay. It's so wide that it's like, it's filling up the hole. You can see the hole of the, the camera range. Right, this is actually I swapped out the the circuit. It's a, just a simple three mode low to high, with the high being a three amp. Okay, so let's compare that to the D4S. D4S, and as you can see, let's see, much farther throw with some spill. Uh, I would say it's not as wide as aspheric, but um, by comparison, the D4 running full, I forget how many amps, but without a doubt, the aspheric of running only three amps can run for a much longer run um, time without overheating. Um, and then let's switch the aspheric to throw as a comparison. Okay. Okay, this is on the let's see, that's on the highest. And then let's zoom it in. Well, don't drop the light. Zooming it in. And as you can see when it's at we would say at this level, no, even a little bit more, it's at the D4S. So yeah. Ha. So you to get the D4S throw, you kinda have to zoom it all the way in but if you zoom it all the way in then um, you're using less energy just to get to that throw but look it's pretty cool right um, not the most ideal lead for for an aspheric at XHP but I got this knowing that I was gonna use it more in the flood range where you in the flood you lose less of the lumens in the collar area and um, you get a brighter flood but you get less of a throw because it's not as tight, right? So the most ideal for aspheric, you're looking at XPG2, but um, this is a XHP50.2. So yeah, very tight beam, and you can really point out something, you know, to other people. Just very distinct, and without any, any flood or kind of spill beam you won't be distracted of the surrounding area and that uh, center beam appears more brighter right because you're not lighting up the surrounding area so a lot of full lights uh, this is kind of why I don't own an X80 or those kind of lights because I feel that those lights uh, light up the floor area they're too floody they actually light up the floor area so much that even though it's so bright uh, they're just can't throw anything farther than like 100 meters or 50 meters I don't know not that much farther so yeah those kind of lights uh, I'm not a fan of super flighty so this I mean what's a aspheric good compared to a to a uh, to a regular throw plus uh, with a, a regular throw with a spill beam 
So I would say that an aspheric, what will end up happening is you'll have like the surrounding area as you're walking down like a, a path. You can have a surrounding area that's uh, lit, but it won't, it'll create a kind of dark spot down the middle of it. So if you're walking down a trail and you have like trees around it, like making a tunnel vision, you actually kind of create a hot, you know, you create a black hole in the middle. And if you have a normal reflector uh, flashlight, it would actually have that little throw in the middle and then the spill beam. And what that creates for your eye is it creates an actually even picture for your eye because it's throwing down the field and then it's lighting with less lumens the surrounding area. So it's kind of even that way. So uh, you, it's important to use a correct, it's important to use a correct a, um, type A type of flashlight, uh, what do I say, a flashlight type for your, for your application. You know, there's so many different types. So you have reflector, you got the optics, and you got these uh, uh, aspheric glass lens. So um, they each have their pros and cons. So without a doubt, uh, I think aspheric is great for throwing and spotting um, and for full flood. And I would say they're kind of mediocre at anything in between. So if you put something in between, it's just not as bright. And then it doesn't light up the surrounding area either that well. Ah, I can feel this thing getting quite hot at this point. So even three amp is, you know, after a couple of minutes, it's uh, it's pretty warm. Still can hold it, but yeah, I know. I brought this out because today it, there happens to be pollution. So as you can see, it's Batman time. So in terms of another thing about aspheric, when you in terms of, uh, I think I tested this out. In terms of if you want a tactical light, you want to use a light as a defensive weapon, it's all about the lux. It's about what it can throw. It's the intensity on the uh, assailant's eye. So without a doubt, an aspheric focus in on somebody's eye is much brighter and much more lethal. Not lethal, but more distracting versus a pure flood maximum lumen. So apples to apples, is, uh, it's the lux that matters the most when you're shining. When you're shining at somebody that's why like a laser is really too intense and you shouldn't shine a laser at somebody oh yeah fun times so many different flashlight choices right all right let's switch back to this is getting really hot let's switch back to the d4s oh yeah so how do you like that instead just it kind of makes a bigger wall better wall and illuminates a lot more it just makes it easier to see um, the surrounding but yeah despite being more lumens it just can't throw as much hmm. yeah and this is neutral neutral is definitely much better for natural scenery <sighs> playing with flashlights Okay, so that's a comparison. Let's throw in some comparison of the Jacks, Jacksman, Jacksman Aspheric XHP 50.2 versus Nemesar D4S. Um, let's see the roughly, can I get the size? Nah. I would say they're almost roughly the same size. That you can see it, can you see it? They're, if you put the aspheric and you zoom it to flood, then they're kind of the same size. Okay, that's it.